and Ingo's discourse highlights several key issues, the threat posed by far-left extremism, the misuse of social justice movements, and their impact on the community and rule of law. This has gotten really personal with you. Antifa has actually tried to kill you on two different occasions. What are you saying is so threatening to them? So I try through my journalism to inform the public about the threat of violent far left extremism in the United States. We know very much about the violent far right, but when it comes to the other side, there's actually a vacuum that exists. So what I did uh, as an independent journalist was to go out with my mobile camera to record what was happening at some of these so-called direct actions and protests which were branded around things that sounded really wonderful. Social justice, racial justice, Black Lives Matter. But the people behind it were actually espousing an ideology of violent revolution, destruction of America, destruction of the rule of law. In 2020, they exploited the death of George Floyd to carry out acts of violence across the United States. This wasn't to the benefit of any Black communities. Instead, what we saw were Black businesses, homes, neighborhoods torched to the ground. Four years later, many of these same strategies and tactics are now being used again at some of these university encampments. We all agree. Ngo contends that far-left factions exploited incidents like George Floyd's death to perpetrate violence, stirring public concern about preserving social order and safeguarding businesses and communities. This reflects a growing public interest in understanding threats to national stability and safety. Ngo's role as an independent journalist shedding light on these dangers aligns with conservative principles of transparency, accountability, and the significance of an informed citizenry. His critique of violent methods used under the banner of social justice underscores a broader skepticism towards a movement that, while championing noble causes, might conceal elements intent on destabilizing society. Such skepticism serves as a defense mechanism to uphold social values and the rule of law. The perceived exploitation of the social justice movement and its associated violence is intensifying fears and anxieties about societal stability and justice, potentially triggering a heightened sense of urgency and alarm among the concerned public. 